Oh no, it's happening again. Stop copying me right now, god damn it! Okay, but you can't keep up with this. Headshot. A second plane has hit the towers. Better ingredients, better pizza. Jason Derulo. What the hell is happening? Guys, the good news is, look what we got for you. You want to lift it up? Uh oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. A second Lego tower has hit the stream. <laughs> uh, yeah. Shit. I'm surprised nobody's photoshopped a tower hitting, yeah. like two planes are in the air and a tower's hitting one of them. Whoa, a third tower has hit the tower? <laughs> third tower has hit the plane. Uh, <laughs> uh, so we have our second castle here. Uh, we're gonna have two castles. A tale of two castles. Yeah. I got a cruise. <laughs> All right, three. Oh um, yeah, baby. Uh, let's yeah. What do you, so? What do you need One, for the audience? Two, three. I need purple. Uh -huh. And I need uh, orange. So, okay, okay, got it. So, so this give, is me the right way to... give me a blue. Give me a blue. You got it. To honor the New York City landmark that occupies it, Congress changed the name of Bedloe's Island to what in 1956? 9/11 Island. <laughs> 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 I laughed, but you will have to answer to Jesus. <laughs> I will get in trouble. Uh, okay, we roll again. Look, it's not the not, not the first 9/11 joke we made this week. No. For Smosh content, no. blow on it. Okay, that's the, that was the six right there. Oh, it's the five, which means I'm gonna have to roll a one. One, two, three, four, five. Give me a blue question, and it better be good. Which island country has a map of itself on its flag? 9/11 Island. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that it works. I know. Where's Chris? Uh, last time we saw Chris, we were all playing Jenga. Do you remember that when we were playing Jenga? Oh! I do, um, And, and uh, you had a bit of a problem with his voice. So make it a fill in. Am I cool to you, Chris? Am I a cool mom? No. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he sounded just fine. I didn't. I wasn't it was there. Weird. See, More as uh, someone who works for the government, I can't handle anything with towers falling. It's a little too triggering for me. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Much like his September 11th birthday, Tommy Bo is someone we will never forget. Imagine his bravery on his ninth birthday being told, this is the worst day in American history. <laughs> and he said, no, I can do worse. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying bubble. to win the goddamn game! <laughs> <laughs> it's about winning, he's the birth demon. All right, I put gum. <gasps> oh, got gum. You put gum? Yeah. Thank Cute. you. Got gum? And I guarantee someone has <gasps> I got yes. I, I put <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I get one block for bubble. Okay, so, so I did gum. Uh -huh. Thank you. I did Molly. Mm -hmm. okay. I did that. And I did balloon. I did balloon! Jake showed me $10,000. Balloon. balloon! Well, you did bubble but not balloon, so it goes both ways. Courtney's canonically a Wait, so what does that fan. mean for me? I get no blocks. You did a good job. Yeah, yeah that's you crazy. Rock. Good for you. I mean, I know you're you no closer like to heaven with your tower. <laughs> Another Tower of Babel reference. It's my birthday, please don't mention the T word. Tower? Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh. I don't get it, but maybe later someone will explain it. Maybe what day was tower. he born? Oh! Okay, next one. Okay. I love this one so much. I hugged my sister at the airport, ready to say goodbye. 9-11. <laughs> oh, oh, <man>. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! It's just like, that's it! That, that's like, it. are we, are we... Can we, that, no. Here's the thing, we are in a very weird pocket right now where 9-11 jokes have just come back full force and everyone's like, yeah! And I feel like in one month, everyone's gonna once again be like, uh-oh. I don't think we even can. Oh, I, I, think I, we I can. agree. Look, it's, a, it's a two sentence horror story. It's not, they're not trying to, maybe they're not trying to be funny. No, I don't think they are trying to be funny, but it cuts me to the core. It's just, it just direct to the source. It's so direct. Not a yeah. second sentence, they just said 9-11. And she probably took five hours to write it and then she was like, <laughs> 9-11. Set. Set. Mm.
What's that movie like extremely loud and incredibly loud where like that is the twist extremely at the end? Extremely close, incredibly loud. <laughs> yeah. We're like it's, what's incredibly loud and extremely autism. loud. I think that's about autism. I think that's about autism. Wait, then which one is because there is a, not about 9-11, I don't think. Uh, extremely loud and incredibly close is about 9-11. Oh, it is? But isn't yeah. it? It's like the last five autism. minutes. It's Tom Hanks. It's, it's I, I have not seen it, but Wait, it's, that is not Tom Hanks movie, guys. But which one are we thinking of? Because I know there's a movie where the last guys, five minutes it turns close, out to be the twist. Extremely loud and incredibly close is is about 9-11. But is is Tom Hanks it's, in it's, it? It's 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 by the same author who wrote Everything Is Illuminated, uh, which I did read that book. But um, yeah, read. Tom Hanks is in that. Yes. Yes. But yeah, it's I just I know there is a you. movie. There is a movie where the last five minutes that is the twist where it's uh, like, oh, you're in you're the world. You're thinking of you're thinking of uh, the the Patton. Uh, um, oh, f what's his name? Uh, Edward from Edward uh, Cullen. Uh, what's, yeah. what's Robert what's, Pattinson? Robert Pattinson. There's a, yes, Robert, I am thinking about there's that. a Robert Pattinson movie where the whole movie just is a movie, and then the last beat of the movie is, oh, he's on the plane, and 9/11 happens. That's the that's just the final twist of the movie. That's so sad. Uh, yeah, that's that's a. There you go. To me, 9/11 is like untouchable. Like you just don't. Next one. It's like my wife and I. It's like you probably should know her parents' names. But what he's saying is he was maybe he was just put on the spot. That's what it feels nervous. like. Nervous. If he's not a performer, I think for us it's hard because I'm like, oh, like whatever, you're, you're there. But for a lot of people, they they're super nervous, and you kind of mm -hmm. when you put on the spot, um, you can kind of blink. So. Adrenaline sometimes hits yeah. people in weird ways, and then you're like, uh, right. 9/11 didn't happen at 9/11. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Easy, yeah. I I have blanked on dumber things. Yeah. yeah. Hello, students. Welcome to art class, where there are no wrong answers. 9-11 was an inside job. Where there is one wrong answer. The earth is flat. Where there are two wrong answers. The holocaust didn't hurt. Okay, Jeremy, get the f*** out! Sweet. Uh, uh, after leaving you, and not dating you anymore, I learned that the average penis is bigger than I thought. Oh. Uh, I was like, wow. Oh, no. That's crazy. Yeah, you learned Wait. that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought, I thought you, yours was normal. No, and I laughed and I was like, wow. And between the two of you, they and had the bigger I, one. <laughs> and mine is really small. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I thought we were normal. And then I learned, wow. <laughs> wow, I also learned that about myself. <laughs> so funny. Ian! Uh, the best thing I learned after leaving you is that uh, jet fuel doesn't melt steel beams. Okay. Wait, is this, is this a, we had is to this a steel Steel beam these nuts! No, 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 don't worry. It's a 9-11 joke. Wait, wait, oh, okay, still, still. Mm. Hey guys, hi. Oh my God, it's so nice to have all of you in the same room at the same time, finally. <laughs> um, okay, I actually don't have a bit planned. It's more about feedback um, before we get more into the funnies about anything. There are quite a few things that we like to joke about. They're a little controversial. And so one of those controversial things that we like to talk about is 9-11. <laughs> 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 so, with 9-11, um, as we all know, it's very impactful for a lot of us, and I don't think all of you know this, but I'm a native New Yorker, so I was alive when 9-11 happened. I know, I remember when it happened. Um, and it's one of those things where I, it, it comes up and it, it triggers a lot of memories for me. Actually, a very personal, very deeply personal story. Deeply personal story. It's a little hard for me to talk about. <laughs> Guys, it's not a joke. <laughs> serious, serious feedback here. Um, when I was living in the Bronx, my father actually worked at the World Trade Center at that time. And um, it was a difficult time because I keep thinking about him every time we talk about 9-11 and how he didn't make it to work that day. He actually overslept and it was very difficult for me to understand <laughs> about. So every time we talk about 9-11, I want you all to know what I'm going through in my lived experience. So think about that the next time you joke about it, because it is a tough lived experience. In our next bits, let's just keep in mind my lived experience. 